Nagaland, the land of culture, traditions and festivals. The natives of this land have been known to be warriors. Owing to its remote and mountainous geographical location in the northeastern part of India, the survival here is not the easiest. Hunting, farming and protecting the motherland have always been the most important aspects of life in this part of the country. However, many practices have changed over time, but depicting their cultural heritage through song and dance still continues to be an integral part of their culture. Although Nagaland is one of the smallest states of India, it is also one of the most culturally diverse. Numerous tribes and sub-tribes call this land their home. One common feature that prevails amongst all the tribes is their capacity to celebrate. Nagas celebrate every event, whether it is victory over the enemy, a successful hunt, seed sowing or harvest time, preparation for war or community get-togethers. Every occasion is marked by song and dance and is turned into a celebration. The best place to get an insight into the incredible Naga culture would be Hornbill Festival. Every aspect of Naga life is showcased in this 10 days long festival. Colorful costumes, unique Naga cuisine, cultural programs, local products, handicrafts, traditional huts, indigenous games and competitions, all under one roof. Hornbill Festival is held from the 1st to the 10th of December every year in Kisama Heritage Village, about 12 kilometers from Kohima, the capital of Nagaland. The main attraction of the festival are the cultural performances. Cultural troops dressed in the traditional attire, exquisite headgears and jewellery representing a tribe give performances that exhibit their customs, traditions and folklore. These performances are a perfect combination of grace, rhythm and expressions. Although attending the festival in person would be the complete experience, however getting a few glimpses will surely help in planning a trip to Nagaland. This is Naga Warrior Cultural Club representing the Ao tribe. The performers dance in energetic and rhythmic movements accompanied by drum beats and loud cheers to motivate people. In Naga culture, farming has a significant place and it is a common practice for men and women folks to sing while working in the fields.
today. They will be performing for you the sea sewing song or the luxury care. Folk songs are usually a musical way of narrating stories and sentiments. These young girls are expressing their commitment to fulfill their parents' dreams through this Angami tribe folk song. celebration of friendship, brotherhood and good times. This dance is performed by only men folk on occasions as remembrance of fun times together. That was the poetry culture to performing for you a folk song called the Nubasu. Warrior tradition is the essence of Naga culture. Hence many of their cultural performances and indigenous games revolve around and depict the warrior tradition. This war dance called Apilokuo can be performed only by those men folk who have beheaded an enemy or at least have any other noteworthy contribution in the battlefield. Every piece of clothing and jewellery worn by the warriors has a meaning and is earned on merit. this song, the warriors express their sentiments about the courage they have inherited from their forefathers and their commitment to protect their motherland at any cost. Traditional games have had a big role to play in shaping up the youth mentally and physically as adults who can protect their community and motherland. These games teach them self-defense strategies and prepare them for any eventualities in life. The bar keeps getting higher. The high kicking games help improve overall fitness, balance and focus. Let me remind you that this game is to train the warriors to jump over their enemies.
some games are organized in the community for fun and the winners sometimes receive cash prizes swinging a pair of swords while dancing on melodious tune performed by the ladies of kachari tribe symbolizes the courage of women folk along with men folk they have fought fearlessly to protect their motherland This is a demonstration of the primitive way of creating fire by friction. An indigenous musical instrument like a mouth organ made of bamboo. It is usually gifted by a man to the woman he proposes. Post harvest dance performed by Garo tribe. The dance is led by the chief of the village. The ladies dance on rhythmic beats produced by men folk on log drums and horn. This is a ritual dance to express gratitude to the sun god for blessing them with abundant harvest. Witnessing the cultural performances is an enchanting experience. The detailed description given by the commentators alongside makes it even more interesting. This dance is performed under the royal patronage. when any influential men of high social status and wealth host lavish feasts for the community he invites people from the neighboring villages If someone wants to see an example of perfect amalgamation of traditions and modernity, Nagaland would be the place. 
as the day turns into evening, the same arena where cultural performances take place transforms into another world with live rock concerts. Nagaland has a band culture. In these concerts, one gets a chance to witness some of the finest bands performing their original compositions as well as retro and contemporary English songs. Nagas, who hold their culture and tradition so close to their heart, are equally capable of performing and appreciating music concerts. They are incredibly talented people. Concerts are an absolute delight for the music lovers and the audience can be seen enjoying themselves immensely.
the festival time is also the best chance to see the traditional huts of Naga tribes, also known as Morangs. Kisama Heritage Village turns into an open-air museum during this time. The Morangs come alive with food, music and the crowd having a great time. Authentic Naga food is served in the Morangs and it is a great opportunity for the foodies to try out some delicious and unique Naga cuisine. Home brewed rice beer is probably the most sold item. The beer is served in traditional bamboo cups and it's a favorite thing of many to savor this local drink over the evening with friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> December is a cold month in Nagaland. For those who don't like the cold, the inside of the Morangs are warm and cozy. There are fine places even in the outdoors. It is possible in some Morangs to bring your drink outside and sit around the fireplace. As the evening approaches, the place turns into a big party scene. Walking around Morangs also gives a good chance to have a closer look at the cultural troops when they are a bit more relaxed. Traditional Naga wrestling is a popular sport in Nagaland and wrestling championship is organized in the Hornville Festival.
The wrestling fans enjoy this event greatly and can be heard excitedly cheering every move in the game. Naga people are known to be very stylish and fashionable. Here one can see well turned out and chic locals hanging around and having a great time. There is never a dull moment in the Hornbill Festival. The traditional attire fashion show is one of the most fascinating events. The Sangtams are united under the common banner called Shang Dress features distinctive shawl-like garments and ornamented Traditional shot puts in Nagaland are made of stones and bear different weights. Nagas are skilled craftsmen. They use vibrant colors for fabrics and jewelry and their designs are very unique. Cane and bamboo work is integral part of Naga culture and is used to make many essential household items. One can drop by at the bamboo pavilion to visit the handicraft stalls and buy handicrafts at reasonable prices. Besides handicrafts, one can also buy some of the local organic products like honey, jams and rice wines. The local village Kisama church and the tourist office are beautifully lit in the evenings. It is a delightful experience to visit this distant land so rich in history and culture and to meet the most amazing people that inhabit this land. Although there is so much to see and do in Nagaland, Hornbill Festival is certainly one of the highlights.